Well, this stems from a case in California that's been raging for six years, brought by a woman who learned her male counterpart was making significantly more than her for the exact same amount of work. This morning, a major victory in the fight over equal pay for equal work. A federal appeals court in California ruling that employers may not consider previous salaries when setting an employee's pay. The court calling that practice wholly inconsistent with the Federal Equal Pay Act because women historically earn less than men. The court's unanimous decision overturning a 2017 ruling in the case of Aileen Rizzo. She's a math consultant who sued the Fresno County Office of Education in 2012 after finding out she made $13,000 less than a male colleague with less experience and less education. I had more experience than he did and more seniority. She says when she asked her former employer about the disparity, management explained it had based her pay on previous salary. What you be? Rizzo, a mother with two master degrees, first shared her story with us four years ago as part of the Shriver Report, a series that focused on women and economic stability. Rizzo, who had a third daughter since we last spoke, now says she's relieved the court ruled on the right side of history. We don't just let injustice happen and do nothing. Um, that was the way I wanted to bring up my daughters. According to the ruling, the gender wage gap costs women in the U.S. more than $840 billion a year. One judge writing, if money talks, the message to women costs more than just billions. Women are told they are not worth as much as men. Allowing prior salary to justify a wage differential perpetuates this message, entrenching in salary systems an obvious means of discrimination. An attorney for the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools says the office plans to appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court, saying it remains confident that its policy of determining salaries was gender neutral, objective and effective in attracting qualified applicants and complied with all applicable laws. We've reached out to the Fresno Superintendent of Schools but have not gotten a response. I think I proved that the world is malleable, that um, change can happen. But I realized for the first time that what one person does can make a difference. And that's what I find so inspiring. This woman has stayed the course. Change takes time. You have to stay at it. And she realized one person really can make a difference. But, I mean, it did take years. It yeah. took years. We shot with her originally four years ago. Oh and then, lo and behold, when I was reading that yesterday, I was like, oh, wow, yeah. good Finally. for her. Look, yeah. for her. What an example <laughs> Look, for her daughter. Her. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.